Welcome back uh, students. So last time uh, we solved some questions in which we were asked to find the value of the voltages or currents by using the uh, specific method which was uh, given in the question statement. Uh, uh, from this question uh, onwards we have to find the specified value or the value which values which we are asked to find out by using the convenient method which we find feasible for us okay so this is our circuit and we are told to uh, find out the uh, power delivered by the two amps source okay so as we know that the value uh, of the power dissipation by any source can be find out by using this equation p is equal to iv as in the uh, in the case of a current source we are given the value of current but we don't know the value of voltage so we have to find out the voltage here okay so uh, now we have to choose between the two math two methods uh, which we recently um, developed or we studied which are basically the node voltage method and the uh, mesh current method so if we consider this circuit or solve this circuit by using the uh, mesh current method so we can see here that we will have two meshes here the first one will be here second one will be here we have to consider the currents one and two here in any direction let me uh, consider them in the uh, clockwise direction like uh, this one so when we will solve them we can again see here that we will have uh, we have a current source in the branch which is shared by the two uh, meshes so here again we will have a scenario where the concept of a super mesh will work and similarly uh, again at the after it we will use a super mesh here and two equations we will have and after solving the two equations we will get the current and uh, uh, after the current we will have to find out the value of the voltage here the value of voltage here and from these equations we have to find out the voltage here okay um, that at the end we will also use uh, the uh, K Kirchhoff's voltage law okay so that method will be somehow very lengthy so um, suppose if uh, we are not uh, using the um, uh, mesh current method so if we use here the uh, node voltage method so the node voltage method what is the first step we have to identify the number of nodes so the first node is here and the second node is uh, here so if we consider this one as our uh, reference node so this uh, and this one as our node where we have to find the voltage so this is the only voltage which we have to find because this one is the required voltage so the question here by using the node voltage method will be quite simple okay so uh, we can also uh, uh, draw a simplified version of this circuit and that would be like this one okay this one is our reference node this is our voltage here this is the 15 this is 10 this is uh, plus minus 25 this is plus minus 20 and now we have uh, three currents let me uh, denote those currents by by red color okay so this is let me call it i1 i2 and this is the i3 okay so now here uh, applying kcl here we can see that the value of i1 plus i2 plus i3 this is equal to zero the value of i1 is basically again the potential difference divided by 15 or applying kvl here in this branch so as we have recently seen that the value here will be v uh, uh let me call it v naught okay so let me call it v naught so here v naught will be equal to uh, v naught minus 20 minus 0 divided by 15 i am not writing the zero here ag again as we discuss it late uh, in the earlier questions similarly the current here is known which is of 
2 ampere but the direction of this current is opposite as that of the i2 so that's why i am writing it uh, as minus 2 and similarly the value of i3 is way not minus 25 divided by 10 equal to 0 okay so now taking the lcm here the lcm here will be 30 and uh, the 30 and 50, this 30 multiplied by this whole term will be uh, will remind will give us the 2 multiplied by these two terms so that would be 2 v naught minus 40 and similarly this is the sole term here so 30 will be multiplied by this so 60 and plus 10 and this 30 divided by 10 is 3 3 will be multiplied by um, these terms so this term will become uh, 3 v naught minus 75 equal to 0 okay so now it would become 2 v naught plus 3 v naught is 5 v naught and uh, similarly 175 equal to 0 or v naught is equal to the 175 divided by 5 which will ultimately give me the value of 35 volts so this is the voltage this is the value of voltage which uh, i have to find out or which is required by me okay so now as i have find out the value of uh, this voltage here so i can easily find out the power dissipated by uh, this uh, source and that is basically the 2 ampere and the value of current here is the 2 multiplied by the voltage across is 35 so this is now 70 okay so this is the 70 volt so what is what was the uh, concept behind solving this question so you have to see uh, which phase which method is feasible for you to solve any circuit which uh, will give you ease in finding or uh, in uh, calculating the uh, quantities which are required in any circuit okay so um, uh, that's it for this question and i will see you in the next video till then thank you so much and take care of yourself